building a storage environment is really quite simple when we think about it. Here we're going to illustrate three sites, Site A, Site B, and Site C. Now we're going to have different types of data, databases as one, and then files as the other type of data being used within these two storage arrays. Then we're going to create a third site called Site C. We're going to replicate all of the data from Site A to Site B, and actually we're going to set up what we call a two-way replication so that all of the data can go back and forth. Now some of the key attributes here that we want to focus on are listed here on the bottom of the screen. Hardware replication is two-way, so we want to be able to write from C back to A and A to C, and so on and so forth. We want to direct connect the compute nodes. The compute nodes are the servers, for example, and we want to direct connect them into the storage. We want to be able to run snapshots, and we want to be able to sanitize the hard drives in the event uh, that we have data spillage between two security levels. So that's kind of how we want to do it. Some of the basic requirements as you've seen on the screen there. And then some additional requirements include InfiniBan as we see in the upper right hand corner, 50 terabytes of usable space both at site A and site B, 100 terabytes of usable space at site C, with expansion of course on both of those nodes, and the ability again to direct connect 12 hosts, that's 12 servers to the storage environment, to each one. So 12 servers to site A, 12 servers to site B, etc. With this configuration, we're able to have data within all three of these nodes, replicate to one another, and protect us in the event of a failure.